Hi, this is Doug Burks for Security Onion, and in this video we're going to take a look at the Squirt web interface, uh, which gives you access to the Squeal database from your browser. So we're going to log in using our Squeal username and password that we specified during setup. And so, as you can tell here from the interface, Squirt gives you access to not only network-based IDS alerts, but also host-based IDS alerts coming from OSEC. It also gives you two PADS new asset events coming from PRADS. So this is passive asset detection. We also have HTTP logs coming from BRO. And let's see if we can find, here's an OSEC. So this is an, an OSEC host-based IDS event. So we have access to a bunch of different data types. So continuing from our previous example, we had inside of Snorby, we looked at an IDS alert, we pivoted to full packet capture. We saw that this executable was downloaded to the workstation. We looked at the executable and saw that there was an IP address in it and an HTTP connect string. So let's take a look and see if Squirt knows anything about that IP address. And as it turns out, it does. So Squirt has a PADS new asset event for an HTTPS connection outbound to that particular IP address. So when we drill into this, we see that the source IP is actually the same source IP address that we saw previously in Snorby that had downloaded the executable. So we kind of get the idea that the, the workstation requested the EXE, actually did download it, and actually did execute it because we do see this connection outbound. So now what we need to do is we need to use squirt to query for this IP address. So this is our workstation IP address that we're interested in. So we search for that. And we see a whole bunch of different events here. We see some network-based IDS alerts. We do see a ghost rat alert for command and control, tra command and control traffic. We see some PADS new asset events, which we saw before, but if we drill into that and drill into this, we'll also see that there was a PADS new asset event for an FTP client. So in addition to downloading an EXE and seeing some ghost rat command and control traffic and seeing an outbound HTTPS connection, to a suspicious IP address, we also see an FTP connection to this IP address. So that's interesting. So what we'd really like to do is pivot into this. So with Squirt, we can actually request a TCP transcript just like we did in Snorby. But in this case, we need to put in our credentials. So we're going to pivot over to our terminal and we're going to edit a configuration file here. var www slash squirt slash dot ink slash config dot php and we're going to go down and put our squeal username and password into the file and this is only temporary uh, ultimately Paul Holiday who writes squirt uh, wants to make this uh, better so that you don't have to hard code your username and password in clear text in this config file. But for now, we'll do this just for the demo. So now we go back to Squirt and we click on TX. So this requests the transcript from our PCAP store. And we can actually see that the workstation did this FTP transaction connected to this FTP server with username Jack, password too awesome. And it did an FTP store command. So it uploaded a file called one.txt and then we see it uploaded a file called 2.txt. Now keep in mind that this is the FTP control channel connection on port 21. So we'd really like to take a look at these two files that were uploaded. So those are going to be on the FTP data channel. So in order to take a look at those, we're going to go to our third interface, which is Squeal. So stay tuned for the next video where we'll cover that. 